Welcome back to my channel about Sylvanian Family's Toys. Today I'm going to be transforming this beautiful Highfields farmhouse in the Sylvanian collection into a medieval inspired tavern. I've named it the Hasty Hair Tavern and this mascot will serve as its sign. The inside of the house has a nice layout and there's a fireplace that lights up on the first floor. I'm going to attach a string of lights to the first floor to create yellow tavern lighting. So here I have attached the lighting to the ceiling of the first floor and I'm going to light it up at the end and you'll see how nice it looks. Now it's time to choose the furniture and the layout for the house. I'm using more of the rustic table and chair sets in the Sylvanian collection. The ones you see here are from the vintage home suite home set. I'm using the kitchen furniture from the classic brown series for the kitchen in the tavern. vintage counters and table and chair sets from the Sylvanian collection. Moving on to the second floor, I want to create more seating and also a room for a tenant to stay in in the tavern. This drop leaf table from the Sylvanian collection adds a perfect vintage look. I'm using this bed from the Log Cabin Furniture Set. Next, this huge table and the long benches that go with it are from a rare wedding set in the Sylvanian Collection. It's a perfect table for a tavern setting for a lot of people to sit at and have a big meal. I've always loved this dark rustic furniture from the Delicious Restaurant set. It's incredible how they can make the plastic look like real wood. I wish they'd continue to make more furniture like this. I'm struggling to find more furniture that's appropriate for this tavern, so I'm toying with the idea of using these benches from the barbecue sets for more seating. Okay, taking a look here, I like the first floor and the second floor, but I think I am going to redo some stuff on the top floor. I'm going to create another room to rent in the tavern. So I'm going to use one of the benches from the barbecue sets to create a washing stand and then a small dressing table. This will be a small room and I'm going to use this lovely little bed from the Memory Time series in the Sylvanian collection. For more eating space in the tavern, I found another rustic appearing table and chairs. I'll use this chest made out of real wood from the Memory Time series in the other bedroom. And this is just a little brass miniature that I am going to use as a chamber pot in one of the bedrooms. Now let's get some rustic critter food on the tables. The mugs are from a Playmobil set. Chicken and the blueberry pie are separate miniatures that I have that are not part of the Sylvanian collection. And the fruit basket with the peaches and grapes is the handmade miniature that I bought. This table is perfect for some rowdy patrons to enjoy a big meal together. On this table, I've added rustic goblets from my own miniature collection to keep with the tavern theme. There's always something baking in the oven in this kitchen.
overview now of what we have set in the tavern so far i'm trying to keep with the rustic food with lots of breads and sausages and cheeses and then i just love the little outfit on the bunny for the tavern maid the dress is from one of the vintage sewing sets in the sylvanian collection a bear rug would look perfect in front of that fireplace I think Bruce Husky is dressed perfectly to be the critter that rents this room out. even dim the lights more so you can get the glowing effect. You'll also be able to see the warm glow from the amber lights. And here it is. I love the effect that the lighting gives. I think we have a pretty effective rustic feel using the earthy colors and the dim lighting in this tavern. I plan to use my Hasty Hair Tavern in a future diorama, which will be kind of medieval village inspired. But I'm going to have to get through my Christmas diorama first, so my medieval village won't be coming out for a few months. I'm showing you a large portrait that I've hung on the wall above the bed in one of the rooms and I'll likely make some more changes in this tavern. I'd like to add more details such as a rug in front of the fireplace. I've also decided to add a partition between the bedroom and eating area. So I'm using this spare piece of foam board that we used to practice making cobblestone scenery on as the partition. this transformation of Highfields Farm into a tavern. Thank you as always for watching.